deep text. Hey, Mom. Sorry to be so late. I wasn't able to find that organic beef you like. So I went to that expensive supermarket across town. Figured they would have it. So I'm going to be a little bit late. Hope you don't mind waiting a little bit longer. Gotta ride my bike back. Oh, yeah. About that... I'm sorry, but I don't feel like having meat anymore. Huh? Oh, yeah, Anna. I want you outside tonight. You got that? Uh, outside? You mean I have to sleep outside tonight? Again? Yeah, I can't do anything about it. What can I say? Bill just called and he wants to meet tonight. I can't very well refuse, you know what I mean? I can't have you moping around, so as usual, sleep outside. You got that? Yeah, right, okay. What about dinner? What should I do for dinner? What's one day without a meal? You can go without food for a day, right? Oh, and that beef you bought today? Leave it in the fridge. I want to eat it tomorrow. Don't you dare touch it. Do that and the consequences will be severe. You do understand, right? That organic beef is way too good for you. Yeah, okay. I got it. All your stuff is in the closet, right? Yeah, I put it all in there, but my homework might still be on the desk. Huh? Are you serious? I told you to keep everything out of view so that when Phil comes over, there's no trace of you. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. I'll clean it all up when I get home. Boy, can you even remember the simplest things? You sure got a couple of screws loose in that little head of yours. If Phil wasn't around to help out, we wouldn't be here. We would never survive. You do understand that, right? And that's solely because I'm so pretty and cute. A woman that any guy would want to protect. It's because of me that you're able to live here. He gives me money every month. And if he finds out I have a lazy-ass daughter living here, he would drop me like yesterday's trash. That's why I keep telling you not to show yourself. Any trace of you and kaput, he's gone. Get that through your thick skull. What did I say about you? Say it. Repeat what I keep telling you. I am. Um, I'm just there. Can't be seen. I will never come between my mother and her boyfriend. Ever. I'm not needed. I don't exist. That's right. At least you remember that. So don't you dare come into the house after Phil arrives and leaves for work tomorrow morning. He'll be here by 6 p.m. tonight, so I want you gone before then. He sees you and it's all over. You got that? Yes, mother. Hey, Grandma. Can I go over to your place now? Anna, is that you? It's been a while. What's the matter? It's late. I know. I'm sorry. I just didn't know who to turn to anymore. I really shouldn't have contacted you. It's late. I'm sorry. What's this about? You should be in bed by now. Is this about your mom again? Don't worry about it. I said you can contact me anytime. Where are you right now? I'm sitting here in the parking lot next to the apartment since, like, 5 p.m. The parking lot? Are you serious? This late at night? You must be freezing. Where's your mom? Is she busy? She not home yet? Mom is... She's in the apartment with her boyfriend, Phil. Huh? In the apartment? And you're sitting out in the cold? All alone? Grandma... Could you please help me? I mean, just this once? Every time this guy comes to our place, I get kicked out. She doesn't want him to see me. If he finds out she has a daughter, well... I felt bad about it and wanted to help mom out. But I just can't take it anymore. I'm at my wit's end. I don't know what to do. Every day is hell. Is God punishing me or something? Can't I even enjoy my life? Is it just me? Am I the only one in this world that's living this pathetic life? Day in and day out? I'm so 
sorry to be such a burden. Every day I'm just causing trouble for people. What good am I? Right, Grandma? I'm just a pathetic human being. Anna, who do you think you're talking to? I'm your grandmother, for God's sake. We're family. You're my granddaughter. You're not a burden. As family, we have to help each other out. But I just feel so bad about it. You know, that I'm just baggage for everyone. You're not baggage! What are you saying? A family must help each other out. That's what I'm here for. Actually, I should be thanking you. I'm overjoyed that you would rely on little old me for help. I'm so happy you feel that way, Grandma. I really appreciate it. Yes, well, let's talk more later. First things first, I'll go and pick you up right now, so hang tight. Huh? Pick me up? No, no, that's okay, I'll go there myself. I have my bicycle. I mean, I called you and all. Actually, Grandpa and I are already on our way. So sit tight for a bit longer, Anna. Huh? Already? You guys are ready on your way? Don't wait out there in the cold. Get in the apartment building and keep warm. You'll catch cold for God's sake. <sighs> Thanks so much, Grandma. Forget it, and don't you worry about a thing. About your mom. You just leave it up to me. I'll take care of her. What is it? Do you realize what time it is? It's way past midnight, for God's sake. I was sound asleep. Wake your little butt up and answer the phone. And I mean right now. I'm busy right now. So sorry. Busy, huh? So you call leaving your daughter out in the cold parking lot all alone as you sit in that warm apartment with your boyfriend? You call that busy? Huh? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's about Anna. She just called me. She needed help. Oh yeah? I kind of remember something about that. So very sorry to be such a bother to you. Just leave her be, she'll be fine. She's a big girl now. Are you out of your mind? She's your daughter. What the hell is going through your head? Are you on drugs or something? She's still a child. I said she'll be fine. She's done this plenty of times. No need for you to agonize over nothing. Besides, it's got nothing whatsoever to do with you, Mom. Nothing to do with me? Yeah, your son died years ago. We haven't talked to each other for ages, so why now? You got zero to do with me or my daughter. The reason for that was because whenever you visited us, all you wanted from us was money. That's all you were interested in. Instead of working, you just tried to milk us dry. In the beginning, we had pity on you. Bringing up a young daughter yourself. No real job prospects. We truly wanted to help you out, so we provided for you financially, but... But when we later found out that you spent all the money on clothes, jewelry, going out drinking with the girls, so we decided to stop helping you. And as a result, you stopped answering the phone or returning our messages online. We even visited you on several occasions, and you wouldn't even show your face. That's why we haven't been in contact. It was not our doing. You haven't changed one bit. Same old loudmouth old bag. Are you with Anna now? Yes, she's with us right now. From this day forward, she'll be living with us. Huh? Really? Man, that would be fantastic. Wow, if you could do that for me, I would be forever grateful. Thanks. Don't you even have a modicum of decency? You're Anna's mother, for God's sake. Nah, not really. As a matter of fact, I was getting sick and tired of her recently. Whining all the time and always in the way. I would really appreciate it if you would keep her. 
She means nothing to me. There's just no merit in having her around. What can I say? I pity you for taking her in. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? <laughs> Sick and tired of her, huh? You really don't know your daughter well. Huh? Do you even know why she was able to contact us? I never even told her what my line address was. Yeah, so what? It seems she just remembered all of it. She remembers everything. She remembers people's faces and names. People she's only met once. Can you believe that? Huh? What the hell are you blabbering on about? I heard this from her classmates at school. But it seems she's gotten all A's in her classes and aces every test her teachers give her. Well, you've probably never been to any of the PTA meetings or met with her teachers, so you probably have no idea how she's doing in high school. She's super smart, the top of her class. She's what you call a genius. That's nothing. Do a little good in school and they always label you a genius or a prodigy or something or another. Then when they get older, they're just like everybody else. Nothing special. Anybody can memorize stuff if they try. You have to be creative, not just remember stuff for tests. Besides, I really don't care what she does. Live with you, go to school, drop out, whatever. All I want is to live with Phil. That's all I want. So bug off, you old witch. Oh yeah, about this Phil guy you keep mentioning. Isn't this guy's full name Philip W. Warren? Huh? Where the hell did you get that info? Who told you? Well, it seems Anna got a glance at your smartphone one day and saw the name and phone number on the screen. Somebody is calling this guy right now, right? Huh? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Anyways, I'm in a different room right now. Yep, he's on the phone right now. And he's talking to Anna right this very second. Huh? What the hell are you saying? What's this all about? At this time, you've been saying how you can't live without your guy, Phil. You apparently bamboozled Anna into thinking that you guys couldn't live without Phil's financial support. She really believed you, the poor girl. So what? What's this all got to do with you? Like I said, bug off, old lady. So I decided to tell Anna. We told her she no longer had to hold back her anger or be scared of you. She'll be living with us from now on and that we would protect her. We told her she could do as she pleases. This really gave her a boost of confidence and she called Phil right away. She was very courteous and explained everything politely and to the point. To be honest, I was impressed with her poise and confidence. Huh? What the hell is this? How could she call him? She explained every last detail. How she remembers all that, I have no idea. Like I said, she's super smart. Like I keep asking, what the hell is this? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, if you can't figure it out, I urge you to ask Phil directly. He's in the other room, right? Anna, where the hell are you now? Get home right now. Sorry, can't do that at the moment. I'm at the steakhouse having some of that Kobe beef with Grandpa and Grandma. Don't give me that crap. Get home right now. You've done it this time, causing trouble again. Get over here now. Why would I do that? Huh? I have no reason to go back. I'm already Grandpa and Grandma's daughter. I don't have a mother anymore. So, my home is here. I never plan to go back to that dump again. You have no right to say that. You're just a kid. Have you forgotten that I gave birth to you? I never asked you to give birth to me. If I had a choice, I would have refused. I've thought of this over and over ever since I was a kid. I really wish I had that choice. But I'm here. I have this life. So I decided to live this life as I see fit. Not rely on the likes of you. 
even if you're my so-called mother. How could you say that to your mother? Have a little respect. Respect? Give me a break, Mom. You never loved me or cared about me ever since I was born. You didn't even want to have me. All you did was sponge off Dad and played around. The only person who took care of me and loved me when I was growing up was Dad. But Dad is no longer with us. I will never see him again. Not in this world, at least. Living with you was hell for me. No, worse than hell. I couldn't go on living like this. So I decided never to return. So goodbye, Mother. Have a good life. What the hell are you talking about? You can't just up and leave. All your stuff is here. What, are you just going to dump it all? If you don't come back and get it, I will burn it all in the dumpster out back. You have that precious little sweater that your dad gave you. You really want that to become a smoldering mess? I can do that for you, no problem. <laughs> uh, no problem? Your guy? Phil, was it? He said he'll bring that all over to Grandma's place later on. Huh? What the hell are you jabbering about? He said that he didn't realize you had a daughter, and that he was real sorry. He couldn't stop apologizing. I told him he didn't need to apologize. It was you who kept it from him. He wasn't to blame. I asked him to bring all my stuff over to Grandma's place. I texted him the address already. He said he would be more than happy to oblige. I even told him in which closet all the stuff was in. Phil kicked you out of his home, right? You can return to the apartment. The coast is clear. I just got a text from him saying he's on his way over here with my stuff. I can't believe this. Th this can't be happening. All your stuff and all the stuff he gave me? I it's all gone. He took it all back. The bags, the jewelry he gave me? No, no, not my precious Rolex. I haven't even received the rent money for this month. What the hell are you going to do about it? How are you going to fix this, you little shit? We're not going to be able to live here anymore. How are we going to survive? You keep saying we. I have nothing to do with you or how you plan to survive. Huh? You've always relied on others to survive. You leashed off dad and you relied on grandma and grandpa and now this guy, Phil. Well, not anymore. I always wondered why you didn't work yourself. But now, I'm really happy for you, mom. Now you get to support yourself and live how you please. Listen, Anna. I am telling you to... No, I'm begging you to call Phil. Tell him it was all a misunderstanding, that he should get back together with me ASAP. You do that, and I'll forgive you. You can come live with me again. I'll even treat you to some delicious steak. You do that, and you and I won't ever have to work again. We can live happily ever after. What do you say? Actually, I want to work. I want a good and successful job. I never want to be like you, a freeloader always relying on others for support. Who taught you to speak to your mother like that? I bet it was that old hag. I will never forgive you for this. I cannot have you living the good life. No way that's happening. You know what I'll do? I'll crash Grandpa's office and disrupt his business. I'll embarrass him in front of his co-workers. This is your fault, remember that. I'll make them regret ever helping you. They will despise you after I get through with them. Uh, Mom, you'll never get the chance. I mean, do you even remember the name of the company Grandpa works? Or where it is? Or even what kind of company it is? You know zilch about Grandpa's company. How are you going to crush it? <laughs> oh, my sizzling hot steak has arrived. Better dig in. Gotta block any further contact with you. See ya, Mom. Good luck. Hold on a second. Anna? Anna! Please, you can't just cast your mother aside. Your own flesh and blood? Please! Don't worry, Mom. You're pretty and cute. Men want to protect you. You'll find another guy in no time. After all, you're only in your mid-40s. You're still young. Thank you.
After that, I moved in with Grandma and Grandpa. They were pretty well off, so I got to live a pretty pampered life. But all those years of abuse hardened me. I did my fair share of cleaning and cooking. I had to pay them back for their kindness after all. I never realized that a warm bed and hot meals every night would bring such joy. If my mom wasn't like that, maybe after dad died, we could have continued living here in this huge house. I feel real sad when I think about that, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. I heard my mom lost the apartment and used up all her meager savings and is currently working part-time job to make ends meet. I saw her downtown a while back. Looked like she was waiting to get picked up. Apparently, she still thinks she's some irresistible beauty. As for me, I don't hate my mother. I have no real feelings for her. Never thought of her as my mother, to be honest. There's no love between us. So, I don't care what she's doing or what happens to her. As for my grandparents, I love them both dearly. They saved me from misery. Once I graduate from high school, I plan to work and repay them for their kindness. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.